For this last video of the research and writing workshop that, that we have here, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the next steps that you're going to be taking in this overall process. And so that, that includes thinking a little bit about where you're going to be going in terms of drafting and becoming familiar with the resources that you have that support you along the way. So uh, just once again, uh, to reiterate the, the overall model, that basically what you want to be doing is taking that inquiry question that was talked about at the beginning of the workshop and be transitioning that towards a thesis or a main claim. And then in turn, your sub questions are going to be transitioning towards sub claims where they have those uh, those uh, separate sources speaking to them. And they're going to be using those rhetorical moves in order to speak to those sub claims. And the sub claims in turn also have rhetorical moves that they can be used in terms of how they, they speak to your thesis. And a good way to kind of illustrate how this plays out is to use an example of what you uh, what I would recommend you don't do and con contrast that with some uh, an example where uh, it would be a good example of how to do it. So in this example, what you see on the screen right now, it's basically much more like a, it's closer to an annotated bibliography than it is to actually examining a literature and an actual review of literature within a paper or essay. And so in this case, you can see that we're leading with the sources every single time. Martin and Pesco Solido and, and Tuke, and we have our citation in there, and all that's fine, but the, the problem is that's that's just a standalone paragraph that just has to do with the source and then it, we list another source and then we list another source. It's not very engaging for your reader to, to be seeing something like this, but it's also uh, you're, you're not as likely to be exploring the ideas and inserting your own voice into the overall process and adding critically to the dialogue around an issue. Instead, what you can do is lead with your claims, those subclaims that you're, you're going to be making. So in this case, you see what is highlighted in green. Those are the actual claims. And then we provide evidence within the paragraph that backs up each one of those claims. And so the citations show up later on. They're not going to be in the lead sentences because this is not an annotated bibliography. So it, it, uh, we'll build it out in that way. And you're going to be structuring something that's going to be much more engaging for your instructor to read and anybody else that that might be reading your paper. Now, to conclude things, I do want to note that uh, linked uh, below this video on, on the workshop page, that, that there are these resources. The Hackerel Research and Writing Studio is a resource to support you in your overall research and writing and reading process. Uh, so any any part of the, the process along the way, we have staff that are available to help you. And we are available online so, so that you can uh, chat with us live or you can submit papers to us. But we also have a library information tutorial uh, that is linked there where you can uh, get some more background information on the overall research and writing process if you choose to do that. So you have these resources that are available to you. Please take advantage of them because they're great resources. And also, the uh, I'll just note that the submit a draft feature that we have on the Research and Writing Studio website is one of our more popular resources. And the way that we'll often respond to you is to make a video screencast similar to this one where we'll be going through your paper and talking about strategies, uh, that you might be taking in order to improve it along the way. Uh, but just to be clear in terms of expectations, one of the things that we don't do is we're not a copy editing service, so we're not going to mark up your paper and tell you everything wrong with it and tell you what to fix exactly or fix it for you. Instead, um, what we're going to do is uh, work with you on the strategies so that you can implement steps in order to make the paper better yourself uh, because we are a learning service to support you in your learning of the writing and research process. If you have any uh, further questions, don't hesitate to either contact me directly or contact the Research and Writing Studio staff and we'll be happy to work with you.